Breaking hard. These brake lines are flashing. I've gone down another gear there. However, as the next straight beckoned, I knew the tables would turn. We're going to have to use the power. Streaking it after him now. The first bit of power, he's on it, but then the Ferrari just begins to get back ahead. Oh, I can't do much about that, Tiffany. But when you're going this fast... Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not always that easy to slow down. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've got a bit wide, I've got a bit deep. He's run wide now. Can we do him up the inside? Damn! Yeah. I'm not going to follow him again now. We'll have to dive off him under the bridge. Oh, I can't turn in there, mate. Chris had nearly 500 horsepower under his right foot, but with my 458 to chase down, that still wasn't enough. Come on! <laughs> Listen to that engine wailing! Whoa! I don't mind being beaten by something when it looks that good. Oh! <laughs> Every time he puts his foot down, there's another few yards. Holy oh, lights on my steering wheel, redder and redder. I've got to stay ahead. I can't let him do one of his great breaking manoeuvres. It's a grunt issue, I'm afraid. One more corner for another famous Ferrari victory. is 12% stiffer than it's got the latest version of Ferrari's complex damping system, which basically hankers everything down and keeps body movements to a minimum, kind of like a pair of Spanx tights for cars. The steering is 10% quicker too, and I can actually feel it. Initially, it seems a little bit nervous and a little bit jerky, but you very quickly get used to it and then fully appreciate its total precision. The main problem I had about the previous California was that it didn't handle like a thoroughbred supercar, like the 458, for example. Well, this addresses that and some. It feels lighter, more agile, more focused, like a precision machine, and the superior body control make it handle really well. It's so amazing. Oh my god. Good enough about that. Oh my god, that's really weird. Wow. I think I've just swept up in the whole romance of it all. A red Ferrari in Italy on Mountain Road. I cannot fault this car's handling. The turning is so superb. Woohoo! Steer is progressive and nice and manageable. Oh. <laughs> it's hard to imagine any car making you feel more alive than this. The 458 Spider is out of this world. And this little Manatino is a little switch that controls the gearbox, the traction control and the suspension. So let's put it into its sportiest setting and see how super this car really is. It has got great balance because its weight is split almost 50-50 between the front end and the rear end and that equals great handling. Pick a corner, turn the steering in, bury the throttle, and that voluptuous derriere is all yours to play with. And amazingly, it's on these twisty roads where the California doesn't feel overweight at all. But it does lack the intensity and the feedback that you'll get from a thoroughbred supercar. Boy, these roads are slippery. I can't help myself. But no ordinary roads. De-restricted autobahns. Yeah. 
290 kilometers an hour. Absolutely rock solid, not a problem. This car will easily crack 200. So 290 is what? 180. Quite quick. Finally, the fuel from Asda at nearly £1.36 a litre. This is the cheapest petrol we could find on the day of the test. So, 